I'm Susan. And I'm Jan. And we, we are, are Our Serenity, Serenity Homestead. Well, as you can tell, we're not at our typical Shabin, or maybe you can tell we're not at our place in the, the big, great republic. But uh, we're at our alternate location in southern Missouri. Apparently, it's the quietest place. <laughs> Actually, this place is really nice. It's our family place, and uh, it's but it's right on the highway, so noisier than the Metroplex. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's a little noisy, a little bit, a whole lot. But when I'm in the bedroom on the far end, I don't hear anything. I hear that everything. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, get used to it. Yeah, so we've been at the Shabin for a few days. Uh, I had like nine days off. Woo I can't wait to retire. Yeah. Anyway, so we were up at the Shabin for several days working, and I got the call to um, work on my mom's computer, upgrade her from her Windows XP. <laughs> it's an old computer. And she had some software from 1999 she wanted to keep, but, you know. So I come up here and did that and uh, help dad mow the lawn. Yeah. There's three acres here. It's a lot. You know. Anytime it rains, you got to mow the next day. Yeah. It's crazy. It grows so fast. He grew it. He, he just mowed it six days ago and it was already just below the knee. It's just crazy. So we cut the grass and uh, worked on the computer and did the obligatory fishing trip where we caught a mess of fish at a place in Ellington called Buford Pond it was really good. It was, I've, I've always caught fish at Buford, but not that much. It was this, a lot. This, this was a lot. We had fish yeah. last night. Yep, and we'll have fish tonight. And maybe fish tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> like fish. Yeah, we, we good like thing we like fish. Yeah. So. But we needed a break. Yeah. Five days, three of them really hot. At the Shabbat. Yeah. Trying to keep cool and put a new window. Yeah, we moved, we relocated the front door on the Shaman. Uh, we got rid of that really wide utilitarian, utilitarian kind of opens to the outside door and enclosed that part, put in a big, nice triple pane uh, window and one moment. <laughs> and, uh, Relocated the door to the northeast corner and uh, or side of the building and built a new deck. You guys will get to see that here shortly. We're going to return back down there here in about an hour, maybe less. And so you'll see same shirts and we'll... Yeah, this we'll porch talk part two. Part two. We're not wearing the same clothes like all week. <laughs> <laughs> no. Mm. No. That was another reason coming up here. Yeah. Washer and dryer. Yeah. See, this place has <laughs> water and electricity, and yeah. I think that's going to be our challenge when we, when we do finally permanently go up to the, uh, the Shabin. We're going to have to kind of ease ourselves into the off-grid life because where we live, you know, we live in a regular big, biggish house and in a metroplex, and you know, all the amenities, Wi-Fi, yeah. and electricity, and all that. And, you know, garage door openers and. <laughs> Microwaves. Yeah. Hmm. So, uh... Did miss the popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, I have solar panels and everything, and I've got a battery bank. I uh, need to double the size of the battery bank. And so we have a plan, uh, but I think it's going to be quite the transition. So we're working on trying to make it as easy as possible. But about five days is pretty much max. Yes. Yeah. Especially uh, in the heat. It's in the heat, hot. yeah. Even for the dogs, it was bad. Yeah, even the chihuahuas were hot, and they're cold all the time. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> and when they roll over on their back to, because they're... They cool their bellies. It's yeah, hot. It's hot. Yeah. So we came up for a couple of days, help out, make a little fishing trip, and uh, we're headed back to the Shabin. Got a day and a half or so more work to do, and then we're going to uh, head... Head back to the Great Republic because I have to work. I don't. I'm retired. What? Ever. She will be soon, though. I hope so. Oh, my goodness. I'm we got to go yeah. back and to the Shabin and put up all the free stuff we got again. Yeah, we lucked out. A friend of ours uh, has moved to a new location in her old place. 
she had fencing and Deep. outdoor furniture yep. and three quarter inch plywood and all kinds of T bar posts. Yep. So my dad helped me out. We went down there. I don't even remember what day that was. See, I like being on vacation. We went down there and pulled T bar posts and pulled up fence and brought all that back to the Shabin and a whole bunch of wicker furniture. Mm -hmm. and all this table. free stuff. Yeah. Glass free top stuff. table. Yeah. A lot of little knickknacks for the garden. Yeah. Birdhouses. Love the birdhouses. Yeah. So, thank you, Cece. <laughs> well, that was fun. Get a phone call in the middle of your video. Yeah, we were thanking Cece. Thank you, Cece. Uh, we're hoping to be back in a few weeks and, and uh, glean a few more things from her now defunct property. Uh, she gave us some really cool floor tile for the bathroom. I think we're going to install pretty quick. And I got my eyes on the metal ceiling fan she has on her little uh, deck. You know, with metal blades so they won't wilt. But we've got to get back to the shabbin so we can put uh, things away. Put everything away yeah. that we got. And, and perhaps uh, make you a new video on our new deck and show you the new door that took forever. Uh, Ever. Well into the night. <laughs> yep, it was dark. So I had, had a headlamp on trying to work on this thing. But, um, yeah, so we're going to get back to the Shabin. We'll do another. Uh, yeah, because it looks like Sanford's sun out there. It does. <laughs> yeah, it does. Uh, like a, a war zone. All yeah. the lumber everywhere. Yeah, lumber and fencing and posts and stuff. So maybe we're maybe we get the other piece of the deck put on. Oh yeah, that was and we'll tell you how we got those pieces. Maybe, yeah. I mean, if there is a good thing about having to live in a big city in the Great Republic, then I guess it's all the cool Craigslist find stuff because we are there's between 800 and 1100 things every day for free on Craigslist where we live. So if I didn't have to work full time then uh, I would be out there every day picking. But now that our nep my nephew is staying with us, you've seen him on previous videos, uh, I haven't. In I intend to pick up the phone in the middle of the day and go, Rafe, get in the truck, get the trailer. I need you to go to this address and pick this up, you know. So maybe we'll get some more. We're hoping to acquire a bunch of lumber to, you know, build the second room. If we can get more pieces like that deck. Oh, yeah. That's... Uh It'll save us a lot of money and a lot of effort. Yeah, you'll, we'll show you what they are. They're just, it's wonderful. So in between traffic, we thought we'd pop in and <laughs> pop in and give you a quick shout on the uh, alternate location porch chat. So uh, y'all have a great day. Be sure to like, comment, share our video so other people get to enjoy uh, our Serenity Homestead and figure out why we're doing this and then maybe you could tell us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm Jan. I'm Susan. Thanks for watching. Boo bye. Boo bye. Hi, I'm Jan. I'm Susan. We are our, our Serenity, Serenity Homestead. Homestead. We are back in the Ozark. Yep, back at the Shavin. We did a video this morning up at the uh, alternate location across the Missouri line. And uh, I was much cleaner and less sweaty. Uh, much less sweaty but uh, we got a lot done we got our deck completed leveled attached uh, my dad came down followed up followed us down by a few hours came over and helped us level and put down the new thing so now we have almost a 14 foot deck pretty cool free free because why craigslist craigslist that's right. Hey, Jack. Actually, this was kind of an accident, wasn't sort it? Sort of, kind of. Ac yeah. I mean, we're on our way to get some pallets and crates from Craigslist, and my nephew spotted some off at another location when we were going up Highway 360. And, uh, and um, so we whipped around and pulled in there, asked them if we could have their pallets and crates. They said sure. So we loaded all those up, and as we were pulling out, he spied these out by a dumpster it was like oh and they were huge one of them is seven by seven foot nine and uh, it's made completely by two by sixes and four by fours and the other one is 
five foot seven by seven, and it's made by two by twelves and four by fours. Which we don't care. We don't care because they put aircraft engines on them. So they're perfect for decks. Dirty. <laughs> and we didn't have to build them. No, <laughs> we just had to get them here and level lift, them. Level them and lift them into place. Yeah. So uh, that's done. We've been here uh, about eight days. Yep. Yeah. I love it. It's been very oppressively hot. Can't wait for July and August. Not so much. Uh, but we did get the air conditioner window unit installed and running it off the generator, which we turned off for this video, but um, it cools the place down okay, so that's good. Yeah, because we got the window in, wall, door. Re new door, relocated, took the old utility door off, filled that in with siding and, and made a new door. So, yeah. And got new furniture. It was given to us. <laughs> yeah. So we like that. We like free. Free's good. We should change our name to free. No, no, we're not free. No. You might be free. Are you free? Free of work. I'm retired. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Whatever. <sighs> anyway, we just wanted to give a little porch chat on our new porch. Woohoo! Woo. It's getting there. Yeah. Little by little. So uh, we'll stitch these together and be sure to uh, follow us on YouTube and Facebook, both called Our Serenity Homestead. Uh, like our videos, comment, share them, and uh, subscribe. And thanks for watching. Goodbye. Bye.